So the draft for discussion now is um, so we're going to read to you about Semitidin tablets. So first drug um, we have um, tablets such as 200 milligrams tablet that contains Semitidin 200 milligrams, and then we have um, tablet that contains Semitidin 400 milligrams. So you can find it in the 200 milligram tablet is brown by convex green film coated tablet, for example. Or you can have 400 milligram oblong by convex green film coated tablet, for example. So this drug is a histamine H2 receptor antagonist, okay? a histamine receptor antagonist. The mechanism of action, uh, it competitively inhibits the action of histamine on the H2 receptors of parietal cells. So it's a competitive inhibitor of H2 action. Okay. So it's, uh, it acts on the H2 receptors of parietal cells. So this will reduce gastric output and also concentrations under basal conditions. And also when stimulated by food, insulin, histamine, pentagastrin and caffeine. Okay, so this is a H2 receptor antagonist. The pharmacokinetics absorption, semitidin is absorbed rapidly. It's well absorbed following oral administration. A small portion of the drug which is orally administered is metabolized through first pass effect through the liver, causing an average bioavailability F of 60 to 70 percent compared to the IV route. Okay. Distribution. Semitidin is widely distributed throughout the body and is 50%, 15%, about 15 to 20% um, bound to plasma proteins. Uh, it is distributed into the milk, into milk. Elimination, um, it is metabolized in the liver to sulfoxide and 5-hydroxymethyl deriv derivatives. The plasma half-life is about 2 hours in patients with renal, um, normal kidney function and it's increased um, to 2.9 hours, about near 3 hours in patients with creatinine clearance of 20 to 50 mL per minute, meaning that patients with a reduced creatinine clearance, a reduced kidney function, and it increases to 3.7 hours. The plasma half-life um, increases to 3.7 hours in patients with creatinine clearance of less than 20 mL per minute. And it's, it becomes 5 hours, the, creatinine, the plasma half-life, in uh, it becomes 5 hours in anephric patients. So it is excreted in urine within 24 hours. Let's go back to the indications. Um, so it is used for the treatment of gastric and duodenal ulcers and also other medical conditions that is uh, that are associated with increased um, gastric acidity. For example, zollinger ellison syndrome. So this dosage and administrations for gastric and duodenal ulcer for adults can give 200 milligrams three times a day after meals and also 400 milligrams at bedtime or 400 milligrams twice daily at breakfast and at bedtime or at 800 milligrams once a day at bedtime 
for about four to six weeks, or as instructed by the doctor or the by the physician. So you can either take 200 milligrams three times a day of the meals and also 400 milligrams at bedtime. That's one way. The other way is 400 milligrams twice a day at breakfast and at bedtime. Or you can take 800 milligrams once a day at bedtime. So you can take this for what, four to six weeks. That's for gastric and duodenal ulcer. As for Zollinger Allison syndrome, it can, it, it can be taken 200 to 400 milligrams three to four times a day after meals and 400 milligrams at bedtime. Um, so, so with regards to overdosage, OD, a patient who took about 12 grams of um, this is a case about of a patient who took about 12 grams of cimetidine. So you know that one tablet is about 200 to 400 milligrams. So he might have taken about um, easily like 50 tablets, okay, about 50 tablets of cimetidine, or more or less, depending on the dosage of the cimetidine. So the patient who took 12 grams, get, um, he developed slurred speech. So the, the pulse rate, the, high, the heart rate becomes high. His pupils become, became dilated. And five hours after the, after the gastric lavage was done on him, he was con still confused, agitated, disorientated, and making staccato, nonsensical conversation. And he recovered from these mental symptoms the next day. And there were no changes noted in the ECG blood indexes, um, blood indices, uh, liver or the kidney function. So the contraindication uh, is contraindicated in patients who are known to have sensitivity to the drug. Okay, that's the only thing that was mentioned. Warnings and precautions um, should not be used in pregnancy and lactation. So it should be given with care, cautiously given in patients uh, with a reduced, uh, you know, or reduced or impaired renal function. So in pregnancy and lactation, it should not be used. The adverse reactions or side effects include mild diarrhea, mild diarrhea, muscle pain, I'm not sure how does this drug cause muscle pain, okay, it causes dizziness, okay, and also you might occasionally see a skin rash. Infractions. So, cimetidine, as we know, is an enzyme inhibitor of the hepatic microsomal enzyme system, in one of the cytochrome P450 system. So, it reduces the hepatic metabolism of some drugs, including coumarin anticoagulant, phenytoin, propranolol, some benzodiazepines, lidocaine, theophylline, so metronidazole and trimeterine so it it will reduce thereby reduce the elimination and thus thus cause increased in plasma concentration of these drugs So with regards to storage, yeah, it's not. It should be stored at temperature not exceeding 30 degrees Celsius. So it should be kept out of reach of children. Okay, that's um, that's in short 
what's about submitted in. Okay, thank you for listening, and till we meet again in the the future sites. Thank you.